fans, this is the Media Man bringing you a Kamiko review. This is a $5 game, that's right, only $5 on the Nintendo eShop on the Switch. Um, so it's either this or Othello, <laughs> you choose. But uh, being a big fan of the old Zelda games, this kind of caught my eye. I haven't seen, there's a lot of reviews out there, I haven't seen any of them, so this is just my fresh take on it. I, I don't know how everybody else is, is digging this. But uh, let's kind of dive into it. Is this worth the five dollars? Is it worth a little bit more? Um, should you pick it up and add it to your to your collection? Let's check it out. Here we go. So we're gonna go ahead and go with uh, oh, this because I can start a new game off of this. I've I've done all three characters, um, and I can tell you that Yamato is the hardest one. Um, I am gonna show you all three characters, so we'll go ahead and start off with her. And we'll do a new game. I don't need to show you the end boss or anything like that. Um, so we'll go through this real quick. Like I said, I'm going to show you all three characters and we'll talk about the game itself. I won't be doing any boss fights because, again, I, I like that kind of stuff to be a surprise for you guys because there, there are some pretty cool boss fights. Um, and if you ever want to, you know, if you need any help with them or whatever, you can always ask me in the comments. I'll do the best I can to let you know how I beat them because some of them could be kind of hard. So, anyway, this is the, um, for honestly, the first character, but the one you saw with the sword. She, she doesn't have any range. So, it's basically, there's two different buttons that do attack, and they're the same. So, and one of the cool things I'll show you. basically level up with that blue bar. The blue bar, if you look at the top left, you see four red diamonds, and that is a blue bar. The blue bar is your magic. Depending on um, where you're at with that, you can do different kinds of things, like that power move that you saw. Um, there's a lot of puzzles in this game, a lot of switches. So these are the easy characters. So now she's, you know, as light as you can get up close and personal. so difficult. Um, so this is the first character. I'm not going to spend too much time on her. Um, let's go ahead and go back to the title. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Put a date in one again. Hopefully I'm not saying their names wrong, but it is what it is, and there you go. Um, but you can see they have different, like, she only has 4 HP, but that's her, that's her special. SP is a special, so she can get up to 200. Um, but she's even more powerful with the 5 HP and 250. HP is basically the, the diamond you start off with, and she's 204, so. Um, but they play differently, so it depends on kind of how you want to play it. But it does seem Yamato is one of the harder ones. So we'll, we'll start again. We'll start with a new game. Otherwise, you're going to see the ending. And I found this pretty playable. Um, you know, pretty simple action Zelda type RPG. You know, you get more powerful as you go. You get more hearts. Magic, all that stuff. I, I like her a lot. Um, you see if you kind of just hit the action button three times, you get three arrows coming out. For the tougher enemies, it's a little easier to have range combat. Because none of them have shields. I mean, well, the one that has a shield throws your shield. So. There's that, um, but she doesn't really use it for defense. Okay, so I'm going to show you this real quick. She has her own. She just takes that one. Um, again, I wouldn't normally do it that, that early, but they're pretty easy.
recommend this game. It is a lot of fun. And I think the retro graphics are pretty cool. Um, I would give this a uh, 7 out of 10, which is actually a really good score. Uh, my biggest frustration with it is it does get repetitive. I'm not big on the constant respawning. One of my biggest pet peeves is that the enemy will actually spawn on top of you sometimes and, and, and hurt you. You lose a diamond, a shield, and a So that's pretty frustrating. Um, but other than that, it is, it is a fun game. You know, it's definitely worth the one to five. I'd probably just say I'd It. If you're looking for something a little different, I have no problem recommending it. But, you know, it's, it's not gonna... This isn't the game I use to show off your, your Switch. For sure. But it's not meant to be. And, uh, I'm thankful that they put this out on the Switch and they didn't have some really cool games. And this is pretty darn re replayable. You're trying to beat your time. You can see there's a time in the middle of the screen, on top in the middle of the screen. I'm wearing like two minutes or whatever. If you just go through and try to beat your time on the different levels, try to beat your time with the boss fights. Once you figure out the boss fights, they're not too hard. Um, they were when I first started because I wasn't sure how to beat them. So, but a cool little game. So, I definitely recommend it again a 7 out of 10. Um, I like the music a lot. I like the 8-bit music. It's just my kind of thing. And like I said, it really depends on what kind of gamer you are. If, if you need the the best and latest graphical <laughs> bells and whistles, then this game is definitely not for you. That's, that's not the kind of game it is. Like I said, I do think it looks cool because of... You know, um, I like the 8-bit style. I like the old school. Let's go through this again real quick. Um... Different characters to play with, uh, fun boss fights, big bosses. And sometimes it turns more into uh, like a shmup when you fight the bosses because there's just a lot of stuff coming at you. At you. Nothing too unreasonable. Like I said, it's you know it won't be the end of the year. I don't think they expected that. Um, but a lot of fun. supporting the indie scene, which I really like. I'm really grateful for that, because there's so many great games from the scene. Um, but yeah, you know, this has been The Media Man. Bye.